We will all die. The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will. You will lose someone that you cannot live without and your heart will be badly broken. And the bad news is that you will never completely get over the loss of your beloved. But the good news is that they will forever live in your broken heart that does not seal back up. He is called Leonidas. Let's call him Leo. An old man that prepared for his own death. He bought his own coffin, clothes and other materials that must be used on his funeral. This is not all because he also bought alcohol for the men that must bury him. He has nine wives but he only believes that he has three and he does not want the rest. He says that only men should bury him and everyone is still wondering how he came up with such decisions because he never heard them in the first place. Well today we visit this man in a far away village that he lives to find out why and what made him decide to do these things yet he has a very large family that would do it for him by the time he passes away. This is his story. Leo is a man that is 70 years old. He has nine wives though he only accepts three and he is going to tell us the reason why. He is not physically rich but he has a lot of property in this village like land, motorcycles and a lot more. He also has children that are in school. Surprisingly, he does not believe that his family will give him a funeral that he deserves. It's true that he did not have these beliefs before, but a scenario that recently happened in this society changed his life completely. There was a man that was living in this same village and he was quite rich. Everyone loved him because he was kind and helped almost everyone that came to him for help. He was quite a businessman and he spent most of his time working and investing in a lot of different activities. He also had a family of seven wives and he was also a friend to Leo and these other old men in this village. One day, he woke up and went on a business trip a bit far away from this village. They were used to this because he used to travel a lot of times, but this time it was totally different from all the other trips. Leo says that up to today, they do not know what killed him. He returned to this village as a dead man and what happened to him was shocking. Instead of his wives arranging for a good burial for him, they started fighting for his property. They divided his wealth among themselves and all moved to different places. No one knows where they are today. The worst thing that Leo witnessed with his own eyes is that they did not even care about the burial of their late husband. They just left him in a bag and they couldn't even buy for him a coffin. <laughs> This old man Leo was the one that carried his corpse and bought a coffin for him. They gave him a good funeral as his friends and neighbors and this taught him a great lesson and showed him that people care about wealth more than anything. From this day, he decided to change his life completely and made the greatest decisions of his life and according to what he says, he does not regret any of it and he is totally happy with the new life that he is living right now. <laughs>
mutazanga wakurija mfite amafaranga ngiye ngenda ngurisaruka ngura ni myenda ntago bazampamba muri iki he had nine wives but he let six of them go and live on their own he is now left with three who are supposed to take care of his children and he says that these three are some of those that he trusted more than others but he also does not trust them to the fullest However, this was not all. Because he had in his mind that no one will take care of his funeral like he wanted to, he started preparing it way before his death. Everyone thinks that he now lost his mind, but he does not think so. He built a coffin for himself and took it to a carpenter that finished it. It has been ready for five years now and he keeps it inside his house ever since then. No one is allowed to touch it unless when he wants them to bring it out for renewing. It has been six years now since his friend died. He made a coffin a year later which means that it has been five years now since he made his own coffin. Every after one year, these men carry it out for renewing because he always wants to keep it in the best condition. Leo also bought white clothes that he must wear while being buried. He had to change and show us what he wants to look like on that day. He keeps on doing this in front of people so that when he is not alive anymore, they surely know what he wanted. This is not all because he also bought bricks and cement and other building materials that will be used to build his grave. He says that he does not want to ever become a burden to anyone when he is gone. <laughs> Surprisingly, he paid a nearby bar in the neighborhood that will provide alcohol and drinks to the people that will attend his funeral because after what his friend's wives did to him when he died, he does not think that he trusts any of his wives anymore. Though people in this village consider him to be mentally unstable, he says that he hears what they keep saying and he lets them talk because there is nothing that they can do to change his mind for the decisions that he made. We talked to some of the people in this village and they said that there is no way that a person with a normal and reasoning capacity could ever think of doing such a thing. They consider him as a person who lost his mind. We asked how his family and children reacted after knowing that he does not trust them at all to the extent that he bought his own coffin. He says that they are all aware of what he is doing and they have no problem and they are fine with it. We all know the time that we were born, but none of us knows the day, the time, the month, the year that they will die. This is one of the reasons why we should never put all our eggs in one basket, but instead be kind and humble to others. The loss of a friend is like that of a limb. Time may heal the wound, but the loss can never be repaired. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is Afromax English. Do not forget to subscribe. <laughs>